So guys, this will work with any Steam game. So for the first step, you want to head over to your Steam library, then you want to find your Steam game. You want to right click on it, and then click on properties, and then you want to click on installed files. Then you want to click on verify integrity of game files. Now for the second step, you want to head over to general, and then in the launch option, you want to type in dash use all available cores. I'm going to leave this down below in the description as well. Now for the third step, you want to head back into installed files, and then you want to click on browse. And then you want to find your game and then the .exe file. You want to right click on it and then click on properties and then click on the compatibility tab. And then you want to tick run this program as an administrator and disable full screen optimizations and click on OK. Now for the next step, you want to make sure your graphics card drivers are fully up to date. So I've left three links down below for NVIDIA, AMD and Intel. You want to download the software that comes with your graphics card. So for me, I have an NVIDIA graphics card, so I download the GeForce experience. Now once you're on your software, you want to click on the drivers tab and then click on track for updates. Make sure the graphics card drivers are fully up to date. Now for the next step, you want to head over to search and then type in graphics settings. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on browse and then you want to find where you have your Steam game saved. So you want to head over to this PC and it's most likely going to be in your C drive. Scroll down, program files 86, scroll down again, Steam, scroll down again, Steam apps, common, and then here are all my Steam games. Now you want to find your Steam game, you want to click on it and then you want to find the EXE file. You want to double click on it, which will then make it appear here. Then click on options, click on high performance, and then click on save. Now for the last step, you want to head over to search and then type in check for updates. Click on it. Now once you're on this, you want to click on check for updates and do all the updates that your computer may have. Now once you complete all the steps in the video, you want to restart your computer and then your FPS will be increased. 